Malaysian Prime Minister presently in India has spoken exclusively to India today and has spoken on Zakir Naik's extradition as well. In an exclusive interview to India today, Anwar Ibrahim speaking on this extradition, categorically answering to those questions has said, if India gives evidence, we will extradite. Remember, Zakir Naik had fled India in 2016 and uh, Malaysian Prime Minister says open to any evidence from India. There were a lot of remarks and videos. Zakir Naik, who's been popular, uh, who's been infamous for a lot of controversial co comments, specifically when it comes to his preachings and uh, on India, on Hindus. And that is one of the reasons that he was under the radar amid other allegations as well. So here's what speaking to India Today's Foreign Affairs editor Geeta Mohan that Zakir Naik had to say. That uh, the Malaysian Prime Minister had to say on Zakir Naik. But uh, what are Malaysia's assurances when it comes to one very uh, uh, concerning area for India, which is Zakir Naik? I know you've made your own statements there, but is there anything that India has provided which is good enough for an extradition of uh, Zakir Naik to India? Well, there has been uh, issues raised, uh, although not this time, but then, of course, um, politely, the External Affairs Minister did make a reference to that. And I've said, look, we, we, we have to respect the due process. He's not been active in Malaysia, he travels uh, outside, uh, but he comes back um, to Malaysia from time to time. He has not issued any statement or any political uh, statement that's uh, you know, against India or against Malaysia. So I, I think uh, for a number of reasons let the matter rest for a while. He did make statements, but you were not in power then. It was Mr. Mohammed. So um, just saying that is there is is Zakir Naik uh, an issue that impacts bilateral ties? No, we do appreciate the, the concern expressed by some quarters here, but I think in as long as he does not uh, create uh, issues between our countries and the security of a nation, I think we let the matter rest. Okay, and uh, should there be more evidence that India provides? Uh, yeah, of course, we are a country we must respect the rule of law and we will not condone any uh, sort of uh, transgression.